Yeah, so I thought we'd do, we never really, we never really finish the season, did we? You know what I said, right? And then we're back. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. We forgot, we forgot where we are with this, don't we? Go on then. We're, we're back out, yeah. We're back out. We've been off. Three months. Must have done one. Must have been three weeks before that cup farm. Yeah. Joe, Joe. Yeah, nearly three months. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I thought we'd do like a mid-season, because we never really finished, wrapped up the season. So how did we celebrate it? No. We didn't do anything, did we? I think uh, the last one was, we did, did we do, we did one I think we did one for a while. I think we did one coming up to the cup, did we do one after Leicester? Don't think we did. No, I don't know. Um, so I think probably last time was, we all spoke and it was, we played Loughborough and that ended up in a complete fast and then that was the world's worst game. Then we moved on to, I think we had to, we had to beat Leicester. We had to beat Leicester to win the league. Yeah, because I think because Liverpool played Bolton earlier in the day. Because there was, I think there was rumours flying, weren't there? There was some rumours circulating that we was going to let Leicester beat us. There was going to like we was going to let Leicester beat us, so Trent got relegated. Because we were real friends with Trent. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that was the rumours going around, and then you look at the Bolton Bolton seconds played Liverpool. Yeah, and Liverpool are absolutely tanked like they shut the game. I forgot about that. But they got beat eleven one. So yeah. if we'd have lost five so many goals, we'd have lost the league or something. It was it went somewhere like that. But yeah. it was. Um, but <laughs> to be fair, against Leicester, about five minutes in, we was two 0 down, weren't we? Uh, <laughs> yeah, the only thing we had, obviously we'd gain promotion, subject to cart sizes. Uh, against Loughborough and then to win the league that was the only thing left yeah, off it was just to win the league the only other thing was the uh, the golden glove for the league we finished top goal scoring out with the golden glove <laughs> so who do you want to play on the last game of the season and how many goals was we like to concede I think five or six yeah I conceded seven <laughs> <laughs> and it was great because obviously Jordan and Reese drive down together from Sheffield on the side quite good friends yeah and Reece scores an own goal past <laughs> to, to, kill to, to, to kill his bloody, to kill his golden gloves. So it was just, yeah. yeah. He was, well, Reece, Reece was, yeah, Reece probably got top goal scorer in that, didn't he? I think so, but. You, uh, kept, you kept dragging me off every time I scored. I and I I I I you was like going mad, going, you want Reece to win golden goal? And I was like, I, I yeah. don't, I honestly don't. I don't. Yeah, my argument was, I didn't, it wasn't about, Get the the, the uh, golden boot. It was more. It was more. I was only playing a minute, scoring, then he was dragging me off again. Or I was getting injured, coming off because I was injured. What, I got injured. What did I do? I got some. I think some couple of them cracked, didn't they? Yeah, I was like, and so I, so I come off, and then you forget that I've only been on for one minute, <laughs> and then I have to wait the other eight minutes like everyone else. So, so yeah, so that was that. Um, but yeah, so it all ended. Yeah, it was, it was kind of all an anti It was tough, it was tough for Leicester, wasn't it? Because they give it a real go. I don't know. If they played like that all season, they won't have gone down. No, no, I like Leicester. I like Jack, he's a good guy. Yeah. Um, so that was the season wrapped up, wasn't it? And then, then it was. Then we had the three week wait or four week wait, whatever it was, for the Cup final, which was. Yeah. Which. I, I know we got, we got beat 5 4, I think, in the end. I'm not quite sure anybody had any interest. It was tough to have been a long season. Our goal was to gain promotion, win yeah. the league. Yeah, we, we wanted that redemption against Ken. But ultimately, it's, it's hard to motivate yourself, especially when like we had three weeks off, didn't we? And Ken were playing right through for whatever reasons that South League just. You could go seem to go four weeks with no game and then again every week for four. It was just yeah. it's a bit weird. So we finished our season a month earlier than Kent essentially. And whether we organised friendlies or we did extra training, I was I had the lads in here trying to sprint and go, boys, we're not gonna be sharp, we're not gonna and ultimately that's how the game looked. We looked looked like a pre season game that first game back where you don't know your routines, you yeah. your passing's not quite on point. It, want, it just it just, want, right, just it? we just want us. There's no excuses. There's the, the best, best, best the best team. Won, best, the best team won. Uh, we just didn't give a proper account of ourselves. I don't think that's the only. That's crap. It was crap. Yeah. Um, but it just ended. 
like I said, the, the goal was to get where we got and we got yeah. another cup final, another defeat in a cup final. But yeah. whatever, mate, we've got that little trophy there. The trophy? We've got the trophy sat there now, so that was that. Which, if anyone saw, I admit you're our captain, despite losing the cup final, walked around with it for about five hours. Don't think he put it down. I've only just got it off him this week, so he's kept it in bed. Um, um, so. so that's it, it was alright. It, it was quite good the weekend, wasn't it? We got to see all the games. Yeah. We had a night out with Louis Melville, didn't we? Which was good. Uh, Curry one, uh, he went to a... Uh, yeah, we were going, didn't you? Just one, didn't we? Yeah, John, nice. Mm. Got in with a minute to go before I stopped saying Yeah, it, just it. Louis, Louis, Louis said that, basically said, do you know who I am? And I was like, oh, so they opened the kitchen back up, didn't they? So yeah. It was quite lucky, really, because it was me and you, absolutely no chance. Got on well, Phil, so it is. Um, well done Eagles as well, because they won their final, didn't they? Oh, well. Play the final, they've been put on social media, cup final, but just... Just, yeah, let's uh, just play it down with you boys, don't get it, don't give you the NFL play it final. The one they had a golden spoon final. Yeah. Uh, but no, fair play, so I like it, I can't get with Eagles. Yeah. They're, they're good set lads, uh, so they deserve it. Yeah. So that was good, grand final. What was your thoughts on the grand final? I, I, I loved it, so. Uh, no, I the only thing I missed, out of all that, obviously, after the full day is, Joe, when the lights went out, what, what, did, what was that like, what, the, when they come out? No, pretty much. It, it won't as good a walk on. And people think I'm taking the piss I'm not. Our walk on's here are better. Is it? The, the lights need to go out. You right. need to have it pitch black. Well, I would, so, so I missed it because I was doing the lights. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so there was a. Someone kept lighting the match. There was, one, there, was one, there was a zero, one, two, three, four, and I was told to do one, and then when to come back on press four. So. It was, it was all right. It, it, it made Chris, it a bit better. I don't know why Chris didn't want it to go to zero, maybe. You know, and Chris Health and Safety or some reason. Uh, but yeah. But the, walk, the walk on for good. For good. Yeah. Yeah, they put a bit of effort into it, so yeah, it was that So was going, going into the grand final, what how did you think it'd play out? Did it play out all you thought? Or? Uh, yeah, Manchester surprised me the way they played. Um went a bit bit long, didn't they? I think uh, Tough in big pressure games like that. I can say that. I can, well, we saw two mistakes, wasn't it? Essentially lost the yeah, goals for that. Yeah, two, two mistakes at the back. And if you're going to make a mistake, you'd rather be up there. Then and Manchester's kick was absolutely on fire, wasn't it? You, you give a bit of criticism to him, and I've, I've questioned his shot stopping at the time, stuff straight out, but hey, fair play to him. Proof was all wrong, was absolutely class. Outstanding. It was. Outstanding. Um, but yeah, they went long. There was pressing all the time, blowing for him, they just get back past the press. Why not? Like, yeah, right. that's, that's probably the. Mm. I think is that better than St George's for spectacle? Oh, well, I was going to ask you a question here. Go on then. What was a better game to watch? The grand final this year, Bloomsbury Manchester, or Manchester versus Bolton at Salford when we went earlier in the season? What was it? Which game did you enjoy the most? Well. On the court, obviously the Bolton Manchester one, but as an occasion, yeah, as an occasion, the grand final. I think what we essentially laid out. I'm, I'm not going to have a court size no, no. here, but what I'm saying, but a a bigger atmosphere with seating in that Salford for something which is as big as a final would be amazing. Mm. But obviously, it's hard to get both. Can we? I thought, I thought, it, I thought that, that that was my favourite game of the season at, at Salford. Yeah. But occasion wise, because it was quite it was it was busy, wasn't it? And some of the Ma- Manchester players hated that. They hated that game. Well, I, I, I thought Manchester uh, let themselves down. Though I've got to say that the the fans and that um, is it King who took over the second team. Oh uh, yeah. When when there was absolutely uh, the, uh, the grand final. Yeah. The grand final. Go back to the grand final now. I thought it was a bit embarrassing them that while they're oh, trying to have, right there, they're right. trying to have team talks, and it, the, 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 I thought their behaviour was embarrassing. Well, it you know, I was thinking like, about this. I was thinking whether to mention this on the way here, and uh, obviously Manchester doing great things, and I think we all need to like Manchester. And I didn't know whether to mention it. Obviously, mm-hmm. uh, I think everyone's got a good relationship with Sam and Sam and everyone. Yeah. Right? But yeah, there's a few things I saw in, in them stands. And there was people around who could have sorted it if they wanted to sort it. Yeah. Didn't. And I was a bit. That was what I was a bit disappointed. I'm not saying where the best would be, but the certain things we tolerate, the certain things we don't, and the certain things we're saying, and the certain things we don't. Like, 
I don't know, is screaming with a whatever that thing was, Vuvu Zilla. Oh, I'm not going to do it. If got that wrong down his throat, if he was doing it towards it, yeah, exactly. I'd have got set off. But, oh, so you come back to this, you, so I said to you, what's the fourth official's job here? Well, but he didn't want to sort it, did he? Well, he went into the centre of the pitch stop talking with the refs, but he saw it because he was watching. Yeah, he didn't want to sort it. And it was, I just felt, I just felt for... It needed a referee's presence felt, there all the time. I felt for Bloomsbury because obviously it's a big game, and it was a neutral venue, and they just, I don't know. It, it, it just, just didn't seem right. It just it's didn't seem for me, because I thought, whether it's right or wrong, like you say, that, that's, we, we, we talk about futsal all the time, and we want controversy, we want people to talk yeah. about stuff like that. Um, people might say, where is, we lack respect at times, and things like that, which is fair enough. But we we can also say one other people did. I just thought was there was. A yeah, lot of it won't, it won't, well, I, I thought it was that kid, and then we stuck over the second team. Do you know what? I always, there was another kid in the crowd. I don't know. Who I it don't was. know who it was, but he was. Yeah, he yeah, was. It was, it, it was I hope, I hope that, that king does come in and he's a bit controversial because yeah, yeah. the spot leads it. Yeah, yeah. So I hope he does. I hope he's coming in. He's loud and he's yeah, yeah. And he makes a name for himself. I, 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 I keep saying the spot leads these characters. Yeah. Um. But but it's a bit. People probably won't know what we're referring to, but it was right. Or it was like them, them stupid, whatever they call them, the the writing, the, the writing, doing it while the coach, while they're doing a the team talk, they was coming right to the team talk, weren't they? And they had the yeah. trumpet things right in it, blowing it while it's, yeah. and I would just turn around and smash that through his mouth. Because <laughs> he's just like, man, what are you doing? Yeah. And I don't, but, like I said, I don't want to take that away from Ashley because it won't, 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 it that, that set of spectators, maybe yeah. one of the game, don't know, maybe one of the games yeah, just yeah, happened yeah. Um, the um, sense, but. but it was what it was, but I thought it was good, it was, a, a, it wasn't the best foot style I've ever seen. No, I think, both, I, think the, I think Manchester played more than, Man, uh, Bloomfield played more than Manchester, Yeah, but Manchester got the win. And Manchester was always winning, so they never had to, to press the red off. Uh, felt a bit for Bloom because they said them two mistakes. Not like that, it cost them. No. But there was not a lot in it, was there? Not a lot in it when you look at it. Not a lot in it. Probably the Capers have a game of his life, Annie, at the right time. Yeah. Uh, but it was a great, I thought Chris organised it well, everything, the full day went well. Full weekend was great. Um, we had a couple of others. West, West Yorkshire, yeah. massive shot, beating West London. Yeah, one on pens, didn't they? Yeah, that was a big one. Um, but yeah, no, I, I liked it, Repton. I like to erect it. Obviously, there's there's bigger and better venues, but it's it's so it's full it's, 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 yeah. it's, We're not going to get a thousand people in anywhere at the minute. Have we? No, just not happening. So it so and it, it filled up and it was full. Uh, it was. Uh, I thought Chris and Mark did a good job. Yeah. Um, spoke to a few of the team members there. I think we didn't get out till God knows what time again on the night. I think we're packing away, won't we? And helping them yeah, tidy yeah. up and yeah. Um, but it was good. It, it was a good, good week. Another thing we got that weekend, we are now double award winning this show. Digital Entertainment of the Year. Double award winning. So I asked who was involved, so it was uh, the English Futsal Podcast. Were they involved in it? Yeah, they, was, uh, uh, they got a nomination. What do you want uh, to do with it? MFC TV. The boys. You M- can ask. MFC TV got one. Yeah, trash them, they're rubbish. Yeah. yeah. The top boys. Top boys still. People want, as you say, mate. Until next year when West London take over, but... West London what, no. I think we got booed as well when we got up, didn't we? Which was... Oh, it was the biggest cheer of the day. Was it a cheer or a boo? No, it was... I think there was some ref booing. There was one boo. There was one or two boos, yeah. It was the ref, yeah, the ref were giving... I mean, the ref were booing. Yeah, the ref were booing. You can see they was laughing at it, so... We know you all watch. Uh, but yeah, no, that was a uh, nice, nice little one. Skelly got uh, tier two North Young Player of the Season. Yeah, he did. That's a big, big draw for that, considering all them lads from Bolton who he's up against. Well, uh, well, I, think, well. I think this was a. Uh, I think a couple of people got upset that some of the lads from Bolton didn't win it, but someone asked us this question Do you think he deserved player of the season? I was like, Well, over the season, yeah, because a lot of them players were playing tier one, and this was for in the tier two. Well, well, he's played tier two, we've won the league and got to a cup final, and he's played every game. And he's the highest scorer. Yeah, the for them under 19s in the league, so. 
I, don't get me wrong, I want a lot in it because there's some very talented kids. There's arguably, well, there's probably at least two, probably three, four players that are better than Skelly, which you'd probably say that. But it's not about who's the best player, it's the player of the season, and Skelly's been massive for us in winning that league. Oh, yeah. So, um, so yeah, it's. Uh, I did well. I didn't, I didn't win that way again. I don't think people like me. I don't, I didn't vote for you this season, mate. Didn't get a vote, not one vote. Uh, Do we get a good coach in here? I think he's from uh, Genesis, wasn't it? Oh, it was just tier two, wasn't it? Yeah, fair play. Like, two yeah. cup finals in the league title, I mate. Mean, Did you vote for it? What did we vote for? You, it was you. Cosman, you voted for. Yeah. Cosman. No. Is he still at Bolton? Has he gone? He's still at Bolton. Yeah, right. Don't know how many plays he's got left. I think they're all in the T1 squad now, but. Alright. So out. yeah, so that was good mate, but yeah, double award winners. Double award winners. Uh, I suppose we'll have to, are we going to have to continue now next season? Yeah, so it's Champions League, it's coming around then, so Manchester did really well, won, won loot. And now we're getting to host as well, so then the host, amazing, yeah. first time ever English club sourced it, which is brilliant. Um, so we might have to... Got support, what we think? Apparently, that's got some controversy. Some people wanted uh, in on that. Um, well, if they want the big boy conversation about stuff like that, mate, they've probably got. To, I'm sure these numbers are easily. They could get on the sound, couldn't they? There's numbers out there. I don't know. Just, just got, just got a look, haven't you? Yeah. Um, but yeah, the wrestling, which is brilliant. Uh, yeah, I think everyone should go watch that. See where we are as a country. For what? And to go support Manchester. Yeah, I'm hoping that I'm hoping that what you say it's only top top team going through, it's gonna be yeah. tough. So if you lose one you're pretty much done, aren't you? Chris thinks Chris thinks the fan. Chris thinks they'll do it. Well he said that about Bloomberg last year, didn't he? He did say that about Bloomberg. <laughs> and they never won again, so yeah. I don't I don't know the standard. I'm I'm dunno. I no idea what the standards like of these other nations. They might be amazing, they might be crap. Yeah, we don't watch enough for But out. Manchester are decent to put up a good display, so we'll be back in a moment, we'll go down, we'll see them. Hopefully they put up a decent... I don't know. I, <laughs> I've, so I've popped up a bit, so Mrs. asked me for a date when we can go like, to one of them cabin things. And I give her a date at the end of August. I said, yes, I won't be doing anything that weekend. So I could go the Thursday. Oh, you know, can't you go? Can't you play? Go. It's the Friday. It's the Friday, the 23rd, the 23rd I've got. I'll have to go with Skelly. And then the sun, it's the Sunday, so I don't get back till the Monday. So well, if the, the if, if the lose one of the first two games, I'm not bothered. Well, I'm going to lose the first one, but... Uh, we'll see if we can get that first night then. See if we yeah, can get yeah, see, so I'll see still... So a couple of comps, lads, if you've got a couple of comps on the gate, me and Dan, and we'll um, chuck you in, yeah. we'll, uh, we'll mention we'll, you in our own. We'll pay, mate, we'll support, support the event. Yeah. I'm doing some penance actually, doing Manchester some penance, Champions League penance. Uh, oh, well, we can be the delivery boys that night, can't we? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey. There you go. Here we are, lads. So, so uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go watch that again. I think everyone needs to go watch that, especially if you're in the north. It'd be nice if everyone came and watch. I think they will. Just, I, I can't say in London, lads. I won't come up from London to watch. I think it's one of them, if you are going to come to this, then the sport's never, we're never going to go anywhere with the sport. If we can't support each other, no one else is watching us. <laughs> I'm sure Sir I'm sure Sir will do his best he's to get his best. local businesses and sponsors and people in the area to come come and watch it and build it's it. Tough, it? it it's tough to get people to care in it. Yes. But the ones that do care about futsal, you'd like to think that you know what I mean, that 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 come and, and watch just just We'll save this chat then for the we'll mm. bring this into it a bit later on. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, so I think we're starting, we're starting... So we're, we're back tonight, tonight. It's the best, we're maybe a bit late. Don't know, don't know what day we're on, 24th. So yeah, we never knew when to come back, we were pre-season. Oh, it's been real tough, this. Because he's put them three... So, I think West Yorkshire plays for like three games and we haven't even... Hold on. I, I hate, well, you know it, I hate friends with a passion, I don't. They're all right for certain things, but I'm not a big fan. Uh, so I think we've got two, haven't we? Two friendlies. We're using them cup games as friendlies. The national cup. Yeah. We've got three, three national cup games. Again, they'll be just friendlies. So our first game for me is Derby on the first of first of October. 
relegation, fight straight away with it. Yeah. Lose against relegated. So, but I think we're playing West York on the 11th. That the friendly. Yeah, if anyone wants to come down. <laughs> and Manchester maybe on the 1st, I'm sure it's on the 1st, 1st of September. Is that after they've just been demoralised in the uh, Champions League? Yeah, they're not bad for me, the sad lads tortured him. <laughs> I can kick it. I don't kick it up. <laughs> I get him trumpet every time he speaks. <laughs> Um, yeah. I'm hoping Manchester smash the Champions League and then they are, the rest are the big guns, big guns against us. Yeah. So, just we need to warm into pre season. They'll need to wear the new Squawker building. I don't know. Our squad is collapsing every <laughs> text message. Yeah, uh, if anyone fancies the game. It's, it's been quite tough, hasn't it? This season, I think we've gone up a tier and a lot of players have fought. They can't play that to you, so I was sort of some of the players that have been with us since before we started even tier three have just yeah, gone. decided enough's enough and yeah, disappeared so Yeah, which is which is I, I get it. I get it, it's fine. Um but yeah we've had a bit of a people here, aren't we? We're, we're getting messed about with our venue. Yeah, well it's it's it's, it's tricky because we don't even know what league we're in yet. And no. we'd, and we've got problems with our venue, so are we coming, the last two, are we coming on to this now? We're going for it. Yeah, let's well yeah, should we talk about our venue first or uh, yeah, go on. So this so that again, so before our cup final uh, we received the news that our landlord who we signed an agreement with for a three year lease, uh, decided that the bills and the cost of the building were too much and that it neg- basically we hang on the night and the police use it in the day. Uh, the police would take sole use of the building, kicking us out at a cost which would cover all the bills and stuff like that. So it was a lot better offer for him, but for us, we, we've got a lease, so it was like, I'm sorry, it don't, it don't really matter to us what it costs you. So it's been back and forth, that's been going on, that was stressful, sleepless nights. That's been going on since May. Well, that's been going on since the cup final. So May, you were July. saying you would tell the lads, I said, no, I don't want anything to distract the lads from the cup no. final. Because this building, essentially, is 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 what, where we operate. This is our home, our second team play here. All the money that we earn to uh, fund the men's first team is from here. Uh, yes, we're at other venues, but essentially they're just school halls and we lose them to exams at the time and it's, we can't sort stuff there and it's just a bit of a nightmare. So that's been ongoing and since May, was it May, June? I don't know. But either way, it's been two, it'll be, end up being three months for it. So. so yeah, I think we will be getting kicked out. Obviously, we've negotiated a deal to be kicked out uh, with certain arrangements in place at other venues and things like that. Um, but even that's been going on tonight. Well, we got here, we're still discussing it with him. So I think we've finally got the end. I think we're there, but I, it's one of them. Even even if we got a massive payout, which we haven't, it still doesn't solve the problems of our club. Money in our bank doesn't allow us to operate. No. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it might fund a season in tier one or tier two even. But essentially, it, it, it's killing our club over the mm. long term. So it's been really difficult discussion on it but we sort of stood firm and we think we're somewhere where we can still it's operate still. not really grow but we can operate can't we so that's that been going on and then obviously the rigmarole of trying to find a car so I think the first thing we looked at was Repton one not we and then well we, we got we, we asked you didn't we if we could go three cars and go across like York do oh yeah so that got agreed <laughs> but the yeah, but we could only have that after hours, so we got that agreed. So we could have it at seven o'clock at night for th- for three hours. So we could kick off at seven quarter to eight with a standout. So it'd be really good. But it'd be the best venue in the country. Oh, massively, yeah, uh, it would. But the problem with that is, I think Chris said the latest you can kick off half past six. So it wasn't really fair. If I get London teams up to us for a quarter to eight, eight o'clock kick off, by the time it finishes, you showered. It's half ten, so they aren't getting home till half two, yeah. which I, on a Sunday night. On a Sunday night, it's a bit harsh. Um, so there was that, 
But obviously we have mega, it, there was there was mega cross involved in that, which we want that with the with the. But if we had this place, yeah, if we had this place, we'd have done it. It won't. It won't be more hours for you. Uh, sorry, it'd be more hours for us to volunteer hours where we'd normally generate places yeah. we'd have to go in. But it, just it, to give you some context, so it come back to us from the university, six hundred and sixty pound. <coughs> yeah, plus rest, and then 300 rest. quid now. Yeah, so, so it's 960. So you're looking at a thousand pound a gear. Plus a bit of. By the time we've got the rich shops, the pizzas, and stuff like that. So, yeah, a bit of pizza and all that after the game for the lads. It's, so you went, you went over a grand every game, which again, we would have done, but I think we've had that eliminated, being told we can't really do that now. So we've come to. So we found we can extend our car. Oh, yeah, then there's the working group. Oh, the way, yeah. Yeah, so the working group, so uh, there were some stipulations which unlocked other venues. So I think what we agreed with is it has to be a minimum of 18, it has to be a minimum of 34, but the total area has to be the same as an 18 by 38. Yeah, which is. But, but in the meantime. I think it's helped a couple. But after the working group, after the working group was over, the committee have now gone on, which. Yeah, which, which also, which changes things slightly, doesn't it? So now we, we don't have to go to a committee to get stuff past here. Chris can actually, Chris could, I believe so, pass whatever court status we all agreed to play on. And I know the working group said blah, 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 whatever they said. Um, but then in the meantime, we've lost BT, haven't we? Yeah. So the sport to me seems to be, and I, I've spoken to Chris about this, and I've spoken to I think Matt Darvin. I think the clubs need to get together and, and find out what do the clubs want, what where we're going, what do we want going forward, how we're going to get people in to watch the games, and how does the club, how does the not the club, the sport grow? That's why I want to know people. Uh, so so um, Matt brought this up in a WhatsApp group. I mean, and he basically said about uh, what the, the same things are happening from 10, 15 years ago. Yeah. And we, we, like you said, we need to decide what we want from it. Because now TNT is gone, which was a carrot, but obviously it's gone because no one was watching it. Um, what, what do we want? And I think the answer everyone would agree on is we need the local communities watching the sport. Yeah. So for us going to Repton, writes it off. Even us going to York, that, that writes it's, that off. Teams need to be playing in the local local area. Like somewhere from Hull, you need to play in Hull. If you're not playing in Hull, it's pointless. If, you, if you're Manchester and you're not playing in Manchester, it's pointless. So you have to play in your local area. That being said, it's getting a, it's, get, it's finding the court here, which we're finding extremely difficult. We, we can get now our court to be 34 by, I think 20 metres wide. 20.1. So, so for us to meet the regulations on our 34 long, we have to have 20.1 wide, which we can. Yeah. However, the stipulations also say you need to have two metre runoffs. And we can, we can get 1.6 metres. So we're essentially 400, 400 mil short. 400 mil short. So Chris's big problem with that is safety. So I was like, okay, I can solve that problem. I can make them two meters. But I have to make the court 19. So we would have a 19 by 34, which is still wider than Repton, which is obviously not as long as Repton, but it's still been the same length as other courts we play on. So, <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's but like, I, think, I think there's three or four clubs now going to put a proposal forward and to play on different size courts. Yeah. And I think the clubs now need to get together and, and talk about what they actually want Give, give the feedback back to Chris in this meeting, I, I think we're going to all have. And then Chris will decide, with the views or whatever, now, whether he can play on the pitch or not. My, my, my thing would still be, as if we're putting a pitch out there, I think we've just got to wrap up about the size of the pitch. We need to, we need to say to people, look, it's minimum 34 by 18, same as the women's tier one size. Oh, that's a, that's so a, so the, women, the women have to play on a, on a minimum tier one, 34 by 18, men's is set as bigger for some reason. No idea why. I, I, I can't say we can have different size pitches for tier one, men's and women's, I think it's wrong. We looked at this, didn't we? we yeah. We mentioned this to Chris, and we, we, we briefly asked him. Yeah. But there's no other sport, correct me anyone if anyone knows one, 
there's no other sport where the playing surface area is different for a man or a woman. No. Only futsal. Yeah, we should be. You, you've got to make it a certain. There's different. There's certain ones where men will do stuff and women won't. Like I think gymnastics is one. Yeah, they don't do the yeah. rings and stuff I like that. The women don't do the the calf one, is it? Yeah. In the Olympics or whatever, and in tennis, in the Grand Slams, uh, women play three sets, men play five. Yeah. They're the only differences, <clears throat> but they all play on the same. Yeah. Play same size court. Yeah. So, so football's the same. So it'd be interesting to know what the reason is for that. Why is it okay for the top women to play on an 18 by 34, but not the men? I can say, uh, to me, we'll, we've got to get people watching the sport. I think we all get we, we all get obsessed with, no, this has to be right, that has to be right. But we, we go back to no one's watching it. We still know further on 15 years ago when nobody watched it. Still, we get it on BT, nobody watches it. I don't know the reasons why people don't come and watch it because I quite like it, but some games have to watch and it is very boring. Other games are really exciting. I don't know what, what that's about and I don't know why people are watching. But what I do know is, if you're not playing in your own town, nobody's going to watch. No. In the same <laughs> sense in futsal, in that you've got hardcore travelling fans, no. where if we go to Manchester, we are going to take 50 people with us to go watch. We'll have, we'll, watch. Watch. We'll, we'll, have, we'll have two drivers come in. So when it's at home, we might get a few, we might get 100 odd people down. If we're playing in Repton, we'll have the caretaker watching us. So it's, we've got to come to a decision as, as now we've got the chance to, to determine what we want. And to me, I'd have a season where we just go, all right, let's try it. Because what have we got to lose? We have a, keep going the path we're going down, and he's taking this further down, or we try something different and go, do you know what, okay, let's have a season, you can play in your venues, your minimum is 34 by 18, like the women's tier one. If, if you can't fill your stadiums and you're getting no more watching, yeah. well, this will benefit, or you're saving a tenner. It's I not think, benefit I think, that, I, think that's, I think that's the way this goes, rather than just having a free-for-all and letting anyone play. Mm. Right? We have to, I think the clubs have to agree what we want from a sport and how we do that. And if that results in we all agree, you know what, playing on your doorstep in the best venue possible is the way forward, then that's fine. And if court size has come into it and we can't meet the requirements, that's fine. We don't, if, if, if it benefits the sport for us to not to be in tier one, we will play tier three next season. It's well, that, that's what we've said to Chris, isn't so it? We're not I've, spitting I've, our dummies out. I've, 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 held, I've held the place in tier three in the north in case we have to drop down to tier three. We aren't going to travel to Repton's play our own games. No, just it's just ridiculous because yeah. the sport has. Yeah. So yeah. we're willing to play here, yeah. and yet yeah, some teams might on not. A, on a 19 by 34 with two metre runoffs, or a 20 by 34 with 1.6 metre runoffs. And that's, that's what we've got, and we can get the players, we'll have 100 people at least watching us every week. Or our other options to go to Repton with no one watching us, and it's ridiculous. Like I see other teams having to travel to Repton to play their own, Manchester's done it, Bolton's done it, I think some down south teams have yeah, done it. Yeah. It's just ridiculous. We've got, something's got to change, so let's, let's, let's do it now, let's change it now. And if this season is a washout and everyone plays on 34 by 18s... The only team that's got to lose out here is Manchester. Because they've got the top spot. They're the only team that could possibly lose out here. Yeah. I, I, well, Can anyone else lose out? No. Because they'll just play all their games on... Their own games will be played on whatever court size they want. Exactly. So when you go away, you'll play on whatever size we want. But I'd be happy to go to Bolton and play Bolton on that Salford court. I, I, have, I have zero interest of what's... As long as it's a court and we're playing, I'm not that bothered. What, 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 what bothers me more is nobody knows what this sport is still. No. And Manchester in the Champions League, and it's not got a mention on Sky Sports News saying... A little snippet saying Manchester... Right, yeah, no in town it will be. <laughs> but I hope it does, but it needs something. Yeah. It needs something. Um, um, as a collective, I don't, we need to all be together because we're still not. Some teams want their own, for their own benefit. We want the benefit of the sport to grow and everyone to realise what futsal is. The only way you can do that is by you playing on your doorstep and you're getting people in to watch and the reputation grows. If you're not... Well, I think, like I said, there's no way I'm trying it. We've all tried the central, well, we didn't, but we all saw the central venue model 
And I think everyone's held their hand up and said that didn't work. But we tried it, and I don't think we'll be returning to that anytime soon. I think that works if you have proper league clubs, it's a bit like a road show, and you go yeah. around to these top venues. But essentially, I saw the venues that was playing, I had the essential, like Crystal Palace, and Shocking. It met, met the requirements, but that all that one where we went to with Bristol Welsh and right. do you know what I mean? The one Bloomsbury play at that old school and Joe you know, and it's just like central venue should be like basketball do it or do you know like when they come to the bonus here yeah. it's like it's like the floor's all laid and everything's razzle dazzle and it's amazing but we didn't really showcase the sport, especially because we had TV then. But I'd, I'd honestly like a meeting with the, with the club chairmen and the club managers to get together and find out a bit of what everybody actually wants from this season. And let's change it. Well, we all want the same thing. I think we all want the same thing. But, but it's, it's, it's agreeing on how we get to that. Because the sport, to me, I know why some people are saying, oh, well, it, it, the sport will go down because you're not playing on the correct size course. The, the sport can't get any further down because nobody's watching this sport. So it is at the bottom, it cannot get any lower because the attendances for this sport is zero. It is shocking, yeah. It's shocking nobody watches it. Mm-hmm. So so let's let's try something else. If it don't work, kick us out next year, we'll we'll happily drop to if you all want if you, if this the court size, that's the problem. Well, we'll happily walk away, I'm not that fussy. Yeah. But I suspect it's not the court size, it's where we're playing it at. The Stadler player, I think Loughborough one now playing a smaller court. I think there's calls for that to play a smaller court. I totally agree because that court we played on when we went to Loughborough. Too big. The biggest court ever. Absolutely ridiculous size court. Could not, could not play on it. No. Not fit enough, not good enough. Never been good enough, never will be. Too big. So they're going to drop size. Perfect. Might, it, might make it a better game. Yeah. Might not. But you can't. What I'm saying, it can't get any worse than it is now. Because no. half the game's a crap. Yeah, yeah. It could, I'm, I'm, I'm including hours in that. Oh, yeah. But at least when people, I think, come to us, there's, there's some sort of entertainment. There's always goals. There's goals and entertainment. <laughs> Genesis didn't complain last year when they come and smash 16 past us. Oh. So I just like to say, let's try it, let's change some of Because the sport is dying on its ass massively. Now this BT thing. I'm not, I said to you, what can we say to a player now? Oh, well, yeah, I come and play futsal and. You can play for England if you've got foreign I know. Play for England, but you've got to pay for yourself to play for England. Or you can play a 40 minute travel to London for a 40 minute game, not on telly. And you've got to pay your own petal. It's. Oh, or you can say, do you know what, we've got to get, we're not great, but come to your own game. There's 200 people watching. It's funny because I've got a. Uh... I've got, like, Skelly's not training with us tonight, is he? So I've got him down at the Ferriby, uh, step, what are they, step? Five. Four. 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 One, two, three, four, step four. Uh, and he's playing against Hull City tonight. I bet his parents are there and it's a real nice ground. Mm. Uh, that's an easy sell for Skelly. <laughs> Why wouldn't he pick that over this? Do you know what I mean? So... You're gonna, uh, you're gonna, you're gonna, and, that, and that's the, that's it's opportunities. We haven't quite got the opportunities, and that's it. I think there'll be a thousand people there tonight. But I think I can see a few of the full salads lads already left because the BT deal's gone now. Yeah, you can they've see been that. there, done it. What's the point in it? It's not getting any. It's, it's now slowly slipping back down again. The committee's gone. What's up, man? Yeah. What's what's left? What's what's? There's not much there. The only thing that's left is the clubs. That's it. It's the Champions League spot. If they took the Champions League spot away from us, like I said, I think Manchester are a team that could that could lose out of changing the summit. But they'll still win the league. They'll still win it. Well, yeah. So they'll still get the Champions League, but they'll. It just might be a leveler on different games if on small. But, but they want it physical, don't they? So if you play on a smaller court, it's going to be physical. They're going to play the European games now. It's going to be physical. I, yeah, I forgot to mention that. It's going to be massively physical for them, and then they'll say, we don't get that in this country. I'll tell you what, you make the court smaller. You'll, you'll, you'll come play us, you'll beat us, but you'll know you'll beat us. Yeah, It'll yeah. be physical. Yeah, yeah. But if that's what you want, then yeah. make the environment to suit you. Not playing on massive courts where we can't, I can't keep up with Jake Barnes because he just runs so quick. <laughs> <laughs> Great. But when you play the European kids, they can. Yeah, yeah. 
So, like I say, give it, give it a whirl, give it a whirl, that's what we've got to lose. I'm sure we won't, but like I say, we'll all get, you'll all get your chance to vote whether you want us in or not, I think. Yeah, we get to vote on the others, but... So you're all going to get your chance. I think if you all vote no, we can't play on that pitch, then we've got a big decision. Do we do we play for reps or do we just bomb to Team 3? Yeah, I pretty I'm, much I'm know. Told, yeah, I'm, not, I'm not going to reps. I think pretty much no, we're going to drop to Team 3. Um, which would be sad. Which would be sad. Be I, sad would, I would like to. I would like to stay and see a one. I think we've. I think they are right to be there. Yeah, we, we, we've we've done. A, I think we're good for the sport. I think we've. But we're getting to a point now, a bit like Bolton, where last year, where we've got numerous kids coming through now, and I've got one year left in me, possibly two, if we play a tier for it, possibly three, if I then go to a far key for an adult to move. Uh, but it'd be nice to see these kids coming through. And yeah. to be able to play over like them. Some of these now were bad for six years. So But like I said, I want the meet I'd, I'd like a meeting. I'd like a meeting. Um and let's see what I would like to know personally what everyone wants. Because if people don't want this and they want the sports to go in a totally different direction that I'd like it to go in, mm. then we'll probably both Yeah. Uh part of the way like we just go in the down all room. Yeah. Um but like I say, I hope we don't come to that. I hope people come together now and see where the sport's heading. Yeah. I, I think the only thing I'd say is Manchester will look at that everything's shiny and rosy for them. It is. They, they've, they've got it going, they've done everything, everything's clean cut, mm. it's really professional. That is your idea club, unfortunately. Probably the only one. But it's, it's, how, it's how much money you keep ploughing into that. Whoever's ploughing the money in, how much money can you keep ploughing in to get zero return? To have no spectators. Well, they get a few spectators, Manchester. Yeah. But they're not getting like thousands down watching. No, no. Which, which they should be because the, the top problem is they need everyone else doing the same and they're not. They're not. That's the problem. There's certain clubs are and certain clubs are in the top league. But the teams like the United teams, they don't need to. Because it's all funded for them. Yeah, yeah, they don't have to do anything. They don't have to get anyone in, they don't have to do anywhere, they don't have to bring any kids through, they don't have to be working hours tonight. Because it's getting the return over kids, don't they? Next year, another, another 30 kids, possible yeah. people will arrive. And they've got their team again. It just never ended supply of teams. But for the sport, they don't really have the sport. No. Yeah. So that's our thoughts on uh, where we are in the league, where the league's going. Um, Again, I don't think people people generally don't voice their opinions to the own, but if you want to put some on the... Well, apparently there's a T1 group chat, which you've still not been in. Right, so you have to kick Junior out and then put me in. <laughs> Junior's still in it, apparently. He is. <laughs> Whatever, whatever's happening, kick him out and get me in it. <laughs> um, um, yeah. But, like I said, you'll all get your say. If you've had enough of us anyway, yeah, you, exactly. you, you all get your if chance. If you want us out, this is your perfect chance. You can get rid of us here. <laughs> there is a good chance, but... Which is fine, like I said, if it benefits the sport, we're happy to do that, I'm just not Absolutely. sure. Absolutely, but like I said, I think there's three, there's three or four clubs looking to do it. I think, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm sure there'll be a couple of others, if they, if they, if they, re- they relax the rules, would go, well, we'll play from here, then we'll play from here. Yeah. Like I said, I hope people are trying to change venues to save a couple of quid. Well, well that's, I think that's, which, so which, I think that's the difference here, which we've come back to, I think a couple of changes, so, um, I think Maiden Ed are looking to change back somewhere closer to Reading. Um, they'll be looking to change at the uni. If they got rejected, which I don't think, I can't see a reason why they would, but if they got rejected, it's because there's potentially better venues in the area. <laughs> this is our only option. Yeah. It, like we've got other options, they have got other options. There's nothing in the county. Do you know what I mean? We've got. There is one job, and that's North, North Yorkshire. Yeah. But do you only want to play from there anyway? No. So that's just not, not an option. Then there's maybe one at Bradford, one we went to, Poss- yeah, Bradford. possibly Bradford. But I can't play my own game from Bradford. I know. That's what we call Bradford, aren't we? Yeah, exactly. So, that's it. Take us the levers. I, I, think we're gem- I, I think we're good for the spot. I think we've moved the spot on a bit. And I hope you want to keep us. If you don't, fair enough. We'll uh, go to oh, and tier three again. Yeah, which would be a lot of fun. The, the uh, structure looked quite uh, exciting this year, mm. so would be a lot of fun with that. But, but just, I don't know. We bring in if we dropped out now. I don't know. We bring into tier one. Probably no one. So you would York. <sighs> I think he'd either 
Offer York a reprieve, or I'm guessing Kent he'd offer them to come up. All right. And then maybe reprieve Leicester. I don't know. Maybe York, yeah, maybe York, and then try and reprieve mm. Leicester. Something like that. I don't know. I'm guessing that. I can say, I hope not. I hope not. We want to be in there, and I'm sure you all want to um, rub my face in it when you beat us next year. <laughs> Should be, I'm sure you all want that. So, yeah, make sure you vote for us. Yeah. Vote us in. 18 with 34. Let's do it. 18 with 34? Yeah. Is that what you want? Match the women's bit. Oh, yeah. is that right? Women's is 18 with 34. Got to keep it. Yeah. It's, it is really interesting that how the women's is allowed to be smaller. And how is it 13 with 18? Because you can't start saying, oh, well, no. The, the yeah. men are more physical than women, or yeah, yeah. the men are faster than women. So I think you've got all the women's or all the men's. Yeah, but if you up the men, up the women's, it's going to cost. They might kill the women's. They might kill the women's game. I think one. I think one of the reasons Chris gave was something to do with availability uh, and affordability. I went, well, we can't afford six hundred and sixty quid a game, and it's it's not available at. Anywhere yeah. before seven o'clock, so our reason should be 18 to 34. So, yeah, so let's so, bring it in, lad. Bring it in, lad. 34 be 18. Have a season at it, lads. Yeah. And then see where we're at next year. All right, should we? Uh, so that's it. You weren't you here from us now for. Uh, no. You know, June, July, August. No, no maybe that's it. Two months off for going on the social media. Is it? The award winning social media. Yeah, we're not going to be in August no, on September. No, we're going to games now. We'll, uh... But yeah, probably last time here though, isn't it? Probably yeah, last time here. Last time, time. New venue. Yeah. Coffee shop or something. So it's only cost us all Starbucks that want us. Yeah. Sponsorship. Costa. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Drink Costa. Uh, yeah, so I'll see you in two months. Later.